Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Just wanted to do a uh, quick video on some of the current antennas that I have installed on the, the new vehicle. Um, this is a 2021 Silverado and it currently has a Tram 6 inch Unity Gain uh, antenna for UHF. Also has a Diamond Dual Band uh, antenna. And the antenna that I just completed installing um, is the Laird Unity Gain low profile antenna. So. We'll give you a quick view of the the tram and the existing antennas first. So this is the front of the truck. That's the tram antenna. And then over here is the diamond dual band. It's all blacked out. So this normally was chrome and everything, but I blacked everything out for the truck. Actually needs a little touch up, but everything's all blacked out. Um, whole truck is pretty much blacked out so I wanted the antennas to kind of be hidden and blacked out and uh, what I used to install the new antenna it's a typical NMO mount um, so I just went and got the hole saw for that which is right here pretty easy and then I just pre-taped a good 10 inch square on top of the roof with about three layers of paint tape uh, just to help with any scratching or anything from the debris that comes off and uh, the hole actually came out pretty good um, I also had to let's see if I can show you this in here basically what I did was I just pulled the liner from the side here um, I took this uh, clothing hook off and pulled the liner down and basically was able to get over into the center area here which is right around roughly where the antenna is. And uh, I just ran the coax across and down, and it basically, I don't know if you can see that, but it comes right out of the, shoot the hole right here for the seatbelt, so. And then it gets ran around the whole truck to the radio. Let me show you the antenna here. So there's the antenna. That's the Laird Low Profile Unity Gain antenna and actually works pretty good um, it requires about 24 inches of uh, ground plane under it and I checked the match and everything and my match is a 1.0 so um, actually it has a really really good match on it so that's my third antenna um, I'm going to eventually install another one right here uh, behind that one uh, but I want to get that one in first and test it out and got plenty of real estate up here but I want to keep it low profile because I do park into it a lot of uh, parking ramps and garages and that so I got to kind of be careful with what I have sticking up off the top so that actually uh, works out perfect so I got that in there and uh, that actually connects to the DMR radio here so obviously this is the Icon 5100 that's the the diamond dual band is connected to this one um, which handles the UHF VHF on this radio and then the the tram six inch right now that one's not connected to anything that one I took off um, the DMR was connected to that which worked perfectly but I got it connected on the roof antenna now so but this is the DMR radio that's the Motorola 5550e um, with everything unlocked on it Wi-Fi Bluetooth um, preamp everything um, so that's all there so that's uh, talking to one of my DMR repeaters in the local area and uh, so that's where that little uh, little roof antenna is connected to it's probably going worldwide here there we go got some worldwide QSOs going on there but uh, I'll turn that back off for now um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show that uh, antenna setup. Um, basically, what I use for the antennas is I just go on Amazon and buy these antenna NMO mounts. Um, basically, this ring screws off, and then that drill bit that I have is the width of this three quarter inch. So you drill a three quarter inch hole in the roof carefully. You know, you want to make sure. Uh, there's nothing, uh, it's not going to come through your roof line or anything. I actually stuffed a, uh, a thick flashlight that I have in there to push the roof liner down. So that way as I come through the top of the roof, the, 
the tip of that drill bit doesn't poke the liner or anything so the last thing you want to do is come through your liner and have a hole there forever so but uh, I just buy these and drill out the hole for that and that's a uh, three-quarter inch hole so basically what you do is the easiest way that I do it is the connector here from the outside of the roof I put that in the hole and I pull the coax in through that way which brings this slowly um, from the outside down into the hole and kind of gets stuck right there which gives you the ability to to grab it and kind of maneuver it and get it down and lock that nut down so uh, works out pretty good so I got a bunch of these that I I bought I got a few more like I said that are gonna go in um, but I wanted to show this uh, setup right now um, that roof antenna the Laird um, stay tuned I'm gonna have another video coming out soon uh, I'm going to do a um, XTS 5000 version 3 install uh, with the uh, mount for the radio and the power to it and the custom microphone for it and um, uh, I believe it's a X, XTVA I think it's called uh, mount um, where the radio goes in and it can charge it and um, gives it an external antenna it's actually going to connect it to that antenna I just uh, installed um, and then it's also got the external microphone and everything so stay tuned for that video um, that one should be out uh, probably uh, in a few weeks I'm waiting for all the parts and pieces to come in and then I gotta figure out where I want to mount that um, probably gonna be on that side somewhere but uh, that's the setup for now so stay tuned and uh, we'll have another uh, video out soon with the P25 setup and uh, that's about it for now. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, feel free to hit the like button. And um, if you uh, are so inclined, do me a favor and uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, if you have any pictures or anything you want to post, um, but leave a comment with what you have set up in your vehicle. Um, if you have P25 or Next Edge or DMR or you know what your setup uh, entails. I'm always interested to, to see and learn how other people set stuff up. You know, I thought about... Uh, um, you know making like a plate for here to mount the radio heads in flush something like that this is just uh, like a velcroed the top in so the mount is on this which sits behind this rubber thing and uh, the velcro basically holds it in super tight doesn't go anywhere but uh, you know I thought about making like a, a flat board here with the radio heads on it and I also have uh, multiple radio head and laptop arms um, that in my old videos I had the radio set up on uh, basically right here. Um, let's see if I can zoom this out more. Hang on. Mm. Yeah, that's a little better. So I had uh, a board set up here, um, what used to be a laptop holder, but then I flipped it upwards and actually uh, put a wood board on it and painted it and had the radios and everything set up right here flat. Um, so I did that, but I'm always interested in seeing what other people are doing, and um, a lot of people got some really cool setups. One of my buddies has got a similar setup here where, where he did a real nice setup with uh, black velvet, um, or black, uh, it's like black material, but he's got the radios and everything in there, and it looks really, really cool. Um, so I just like seeing new new ideas, getting ideas on how to do things, and change stuff around. You know, I like changing stuff around every month because I get bored with it, so, but uh that's about it for now. Stay tuned. Leave a comment be uh, below and, uh, you know, do me a favor and hit the like button there. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks and have a great day. 7-3.